He was expected in the mountain from Friday on. Today, Fabio Aru surprised on the Criterium du Dauphiné, only survivor of the group which broke from the pack 15 kilometers to the finish line. The 2015 Tour of Spain winner showed a new ruler skill. He held on as the pack was coming back strongly. After his quiet start to the season, Aru gets here his first 2016 success and proves to be in form. Many men attacked on Tuesday, but all the punchers were powerless compared to Jesus Herrada. The Spaniard took the stage win ahead of Tony Galopin. Another Spanish rider, Alberto Contador, maintained his overall lead, while Romain Bardet, who fell in the final section, lost his hopes for the general classification. The punchers who lost yesterday get a chance today, more than the sprinters who should be struggling in the Côte de Sechra Pass, 20 kilometers before the finish line. A good teamwork could help them overcome this 3km hill at an 8% gradient. Just after the start at Bois sur lignon three men left the pack, Thomas de Gent, Nicky Tepstra and Dmitry Claes. The gap with the peloton went up to 4 minutes. The trio soon was chased by two Frenchmen, Pierre Kemener and Cyril Gauthier, who reached their goal at kilometer 119. Behind, the Katusha increased the speed in the front of the peloton. Team's giant Kofidis and Lotto Yumbo helped them pace the pack to catch the escapees. The gap started to shrink and the front men were swallowed at the foot of the Côte de Sechra. In this ascent, Tony Martin rushed in. The time trial specialist went for a 25-kilometer chase. But the German was soon joined by counter-attackers. Then Fabio Aru accelerated to lead the race in the downhill towards tournon sur rhone It looked like a big gamble from the Italian, winner of the last Vuelta, as his advantage was never over 15 seconds. However, the inaction of the peloton helped Aru's plan to succeed. In a last effort, the Astana rider resisted the final comeback and crossed the line with a 30-meter margin. The Tour de France is this season's main objective. I try to prepare the best I can. The Dauphiné is a milestone in my preparation after the Sestria mountain training. I'm very happy and I thank my teammates, my team, my family and my fiancé who are always by my side. Just two seconds allowed the day's winner to clinch the stage victory over the bunch sprint. Alexander Christophe was the fastest of the pack, ahead of Bonifacio, another Italian. The French leader of the points classification, Nasser Buani, concluded the stage in eighth place. At the overall classification, Contador retains the leader's yellow jersey, ahead of Richie Porte and Chris Froome. This Thursday, the riders will cross Drôme, Isère and un departments over 176 kilometers to finish with a loop around Belay. This course will be rather flat, so the sprinters will have their last chance to shine in this 26th Criterium du Dauphiné. The mountain stages will be for the final three days of race. <laughs>